Hey, Ted at Blue Forest here, and want to make a quick update on the hardy greens that we planted about 10 days ago in the high tunnel. It is sprinkling a little bit, so sorry about that noise. Um, but if you check out the early video, we seeded out our high tunnel um, with a variety of hardy greens and you can see a lot of them have been coming up already we did this about 10 days ago uh, it got down to about 14 degree fahrenheit uh, a couple nights but you can see that didn't slow these seedlings down much at all i mean some are doing a little better than others we've got dandelions collard chard asian greens daikon, some spinach, arugula, and lettuce. Just a big mix of things, but it's really working out nicely. I think this extra cold frame really helps protect it on those super cold nights. Um, also the flats that we started in here with some different perennial seedlings have started. You can see the sorrels really taking off. Got here Ella campaign maybe just starting um, calendula is going this is one I'm just trying for fun it's a yucca Adams needle yucca never grown it before so we'll see you can see that there's some garlics from last year that are, are really going um, what else do we got oh we got some sweet Sicily popping up here which is fun. I tried to grow that once before from seed and it didn't work, so it's like it's happening. We got some Turkish rocket, which is always a little bit difficult for me to germinate, so we'll see what happens there. And we got some rue in here. I believe it's sprouting. What else? These are rhubarbs. We got Angelica, and we got some Wode, which I've never grown before. So it's early on, but things are definitely germinating, and that's encouraging to see. I uh, really like to use this space a little bit more efficiently and get, get some things started where it wouldn't be able to happen outside. Uh, it's been a warm spring, honestly. So. We'll see how it goes. The fluctuations in temperature are the most worrying things. Even if we get a cold night of some frost or even a, a light freeze outside, inside this high tunnel, it's gonna be that much more protected. Uh, so we can really get a jump on the growing season. If you have any notes or thoughts to share, uh, what your experiments are, I'd love to hear about them. And I'll keep updating you on the progress with this tunnel and how things develop. I'm gonna head back into the rain and continue to bundle up plants for spring planting season.